Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to construct a hybrid learning and hybrid deep learning model in Python. So hybrid learning is nothing but it's a combination of two learnings and hybrid model is nothing but it is the combination of two models. So I'll show you how to construct those things. So I'm going to take the uh, skin data set for hybrid learning and hybrid model. So <clears throat> for that, so I already loaded the data here. You can see here. Uh, so first you can create one folder. Uh, inside the folder, you can create one more folder and you can name this database. Then we can we can have two classes like cancer melanoma and normal. So when you go to the normal means we can see the normal images. When you go to the cancer melanoma folder, you can see the cancerous image. So we are going to classify these two things with the help of hybrid learning and hybrid mode. So I'll just show the code how to go through that one. You can just load the data here. I'm just already mounted the data. Then I'm just loading the all the library files so then i have given the root name uh, i can give the root name from here uh, then uh, we have only uh, uh, two folders so we need to uh, split those data into train test and validation so that uh, we are creating a new root and just giving the classes cancer melanoma and normal one so it is automatically uh, making three folders as train, val, and test, and it's already uh, automatically splitting those data. So you can see it here. Now we can see here total images 32, training 24, validation 6, and testing. So if you if you see here means so that uh, already three folders has been generated here inside the content on all data sets train test and validation so this is the new route which we used to store the data now we can just give the uh, train directly test directly and validation directly according to the path you can just copy path here and you can paste it here just i'm running this one then as usual we can use the image data generator for argumentation then we can we can have two classes melanoma and normal then this is the train set so we have 55 images belongs to two classes normal and cancer melanoma then test generator five images two classes here just we are displaying those images so this is the a normal one so normal skin data this is the cancerous melanoma so then I'm just uh, clicking on the real files and then assigning the class weight loading the utilities everything So here only we are going to construct two different models. So one first one is the VGG and first we are taking the base model then we are adding some layers in the models then finally the fully connected layer is two as, it, as we have only two classes. So this is the first model then the second model here we used the ResNet 50 here also we take the base model then fine tune it according to our requirements so this is the second model so the this is the hybrid model we just selected two models vgg16 and the resnet 50 then we can select these things uh, we can construct the model so here we, here we are going to train the first model that means vgg16 just given the epoch cost only so we can get the First model has been trained here. Then this is the second model. So 
that means the ResNet model. And these are the training accuracies. Then just displaying the uh, that training accuracy and the training loss here. Just just a plot. Now we construct two models. Now we are going to extract the features from these two models. So this is the feature extraction. We are extracting the features from the first model that that means the ResNet model. And here we are extracting. Then we are predicting. That means we are extracting those features from the uh, second model. That is the ResNet model. No, now we are extracting features from the VGG16 model. So just we can display the model summary here. What is the model we used there? Uh, this is the VGG16 feature extraction stage. Then the train set label is here. So here we combining the two models. So this is what a combination of two models or hybrid models. So when we concatenate these two one fx is the first model fx1 is the second model. That means fx1 is the VGG and fx is the uh, ResNet model. So just we are concatenating two uh, features. So this is the two combination of two models or hybrid model. So where we are going to apply the hybrid learning means we already learned the data. Now we are extract the feature by learning the uh, those two networks like uh, VGG and Rusted. Now again we are learning those uh, data with the help of another classifier. Oh, that we can show it. Now we are going to um, feed the test data uh, and extracting those features from the uh, two models. Uh, then combining test data here. So here the second learning is happening. So already we learned the network, we extracted the features. So with the help of features again we are learning. So full feed is our learned feature, already learned it once. So, so this is the this is the outcome. So it's combination of both the first model features and the second model feature. So this is the uh, uh, second time we are learning that is a hybrid learning so combining means hybrid model and if you extracting the features and again if you are learning with any classifier means that is hybrid learning so here we used xgb classifier so we are just uh, again we are tra training our features and uh, this is the labels so finally we are predicting the data so full feed is our test data, uh, training data just we are predicting our input images, input features. So, so we can see how much it's predicted and uh, so this is the predicted outcome and the original outcome, uh, the target is the WA. That is the train set labels. So we can construct the confusion matrix and we can use display those result here. And finally we can display the classification result. So here we are getting all the uh, classes will be as one. That is that means none of the classified uh, none of the images are misclassified everything classified correctly so that's why we are getting the uh, precision recall and f1 score is 100 percentage so what happened means i just given uh, uh, prediction based upon the training now i'm going to predict those data with the help of testing data so test all is our test data so in for testing let's see how much uh, that uh, confusion matrix and the uh, classification reports are coming so xgbt produce uh, predict and one more thing we are giving the label target label where it is means you can hear gwa mm. 
CW. Sorry, next CBT we have to predict that one. So not here the full feet here. This dog. Just a window check it. Just on that shape. Two forty. It should not come like this. Oh, sorry. A uh, T full feet. Not sorry. Uh, test a T full feet is our test data features. So that has to be checked here. So five into four. Okay, now we are going to give this T Yes, so so we can see so this is the confusion matrix of test data. So what happened? Sorry, T W here. Because it is tested, so this is the classification result. We can see the average weight value seventy five, something like that. So the values are uh, really less because we just taken only uh, five data for testing. So that is why if if one or two data is misclassified, means automatically it is the accuracy going down thirty or forty something. Anyway, we will be getting seventy five. Also, mm, we just only given the twenty epochs for training. In the training stage for uh, training the model so here that is why it's kind of maybe it's not possible to extract those exact features or deep features so there you can uh, we can increase the number of epochs uh, like 200 or 100 something like that uh, so that we can get the more accurate so this is the way how we uh, use the hybrid learning and hybrid model so hybrid model is nothing but we will be using two models hybrid learning is nothing but we will be using the two classifier so already we extracted the features from the uh, uh, trained model then again we are learning the same data with another classifier that means the sgb classifier so two times we are learning here that is why we are saying this is a hybrid learning as well as the hybrid model so i think you understood something so you can try with this uh, and you can load your own data also i just shown for just skin images we can use it for any data uh, whatever the uh, images you have so hope you understood uh, if any doubt means you can ask me you can contact me the similar projects we can, you can get it from us and there is some charges will be available so if you have comments you can proceed and you can text me and you can whatsapp me thank you thanks for watching